you've courted one Wilson early on in your career, and now you get, you know, full circle moments, the other ones. So any preference now, Nikki, after, after all these years with the Wilsons in your life? Isn't that funny how that does full circle? And that was, I mean, Hall Pass was maybe 12 years ago. It's a long time. I'd I'd met Luke once before, twice before we'd worked together and he's just a lovely gentleman and and so fun to work with, so. Welcome. I hope y'all had a pleasant journey in. Thanks for coming. Great to see you, brother. You and your wedding party will have the entire resort to yourselves. This weekend is about us. Make no mistake, this is a weekend that you and your guests will never forget. Nikki, how you been since last time? The room hasn't changed, which I love. <laughs> You're in the right spot. Yours has. I don't know who that lovely blonde in the background is, but oh, I know that's that's, that's that. Mandy. She covers up my neon uh, cord to my neon sign. So you know, you got some really cool stuff back there. But yeah, I've still got the king and queen as my backdrop. <laughs> there you go. How you been? Really good, love. How are you? Oh, I wish I had better. I had a lot of my mom's health is not good or cancer might have returned. So it's just been like stressful time um, last, you know, month or so. So it's just one of those wait and see sort of things. But yeah, I wish I had better news or things going on. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, it's, it's a lot of that right now. I know. Yeah. I mean, she just, oh my gosh, she just had colon cancer a year and a half ago. And now they think possibly her melanoma from like 22 years ago might have returned. So they'll be biopsying it uh, early May to to see what's going on. But yeah, they found a little like a nodule on her skull. So just uh, a worrisome time, you know, the weight game is the worst thing too. It is. It's it's the diagnosis. And then the, well, let's just get, we've got to find out if it's real or not three weeks. It's, It's really it's a brutal, brutal experience. It's a very real thing. And it happens to you. Like, I feel like one person, everyone we know is all going through this right now. I'm, I'm Seriously. Really bloody scary. Too much. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, so it puts life in perspective, you know what I mean? So uh, yes. that's it's- the thing. But um, I'm, I'm glad to talk to you. It's so good to see your face. It puts a smile on my face to see you uh which is good i mean last time you were chasing sharks i saw you now like, just mercenaries won't let you have a wedding so yeah, you know? now they won't even let me get married i mean then up next up i've got crocodiles i mean i am surrounded by craziness <laughs> that's right the crocodile film you were telling me you were shooting that last time we spoke so that's coming out soon then huh that's coming up next but we got this is the best man right now um action movie where i'm getting chased around a casino by a bunch of terrorists i mean it's it's no joke. It's just this time I'm not fighting them. I'm the damsel in distress, which I was happy yes. to play. Yeah. Um, and sort of sit back and let the, the men take over. It was nice. That's right. You know, and a great cast here too. By the way, you and did you work with Scout on um, Halloween 2? Were you guys in any scenes together or? Well, we've done Halloween 2 together, but we also did 7500 together. <clears throat> a really cool horror film on the movie. That was a cool movie way back in the day. So this will be our third movie together. So we knew each other. She called me and she was like, girl, we're going to play sisters in this. Let's go together. So we drove from the airport inland a couple hours together. And I mean, I adore Scout. We have a blast. I love working with her. She's so much fun. So I'm oh, yeah. sure we'll do another movie together. Oh, I love that. I'm going to speak to her later today. I, I'm like, she's one of my favorite people too. So this is this is so cool to see two of my favorite people you, you, once again, uniting together on screen. I'm playing sisters, which worked well, actually. I could totally see this happening, you know, yeah. kind of being the older sister, she kind of the, the wilder, younger one. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it also, it's like, it's like another family sort of reunion, the Wilsons, you know, you, you've you courted one Wilson early on in your career, and now you get, you know, full circle moments, the other ones. So any preference now, Nikki, after, after all these years with the Wilsons in your life? Isn't that funny how that does full circle? And that was, I mean, Hall Pass was maybe 12 years ago. It's a long time. I'd I'd met Luke once before, twice before we'd worked together. And he's just a lovely gentleman and and so fun to work with. So just to sort of show up on this set with him and play my husband in it and, well, fiance. (laughs) Um, So, I mean, it's such a treat. And then having Dolph Lundgren there and Brendan Fair and all the gang. I mean, just a cool bunch of people to work with. A really fun set. We had a blast. Uh-huh. <laughs> In a short amount of time, we made it the most of it for sure. 
Luke must have been aware that you worked with his brother, right? I mean, uh, oh, yes, he was. No, no, no. He, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was like now, after all these years, you know, he's trying to to up uh, one up his brother, you know, courting you or, or vice versa. Well, I don't know about that, but yeah, <laughs> it was. <laughs> it is funny to end up working with both of them for sure. I'm sure it's happened to a lot of people that have ended up working with both of them, but for me, it was a real treat. I think mean, they're both incredibly funny and talented and very smart and just it's just good to be on screen with those guys you know mm -hmm. where'd you guys shoot the film where was this resort located it's like a couple hours outside of new mexico i mean oh, I had really scout, scout will tell you we drove inland for like three hours we were like and we lost phone service for two hours i mean we were <laughs> like that's why i love scout she's just drive behind the wheel we're just in the middle of nowhere and then boom we pop up in this gorgeous little town and yeah, there's this big ass casino and we shoot out of that. So, and the, everything was shot around this casino. There's a lot to work with. We had a beautiful lake and everything. So it's a, um, it was a beautiful place to go and sort of be and it snowed and then it was sun. <laughs> no. Wow, that's wild. <laughs> you had a little bit of everything there, I guess, in that case, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Who would have known? Did you have the casino? I mean, uh, off hours offset, were you, <laughs> were you running the slots or anything or going Ooh. to the casino? <laughs> unfortunately not no um we had such a short amount of time to do this movie and we were shooting hardcore we were going to sleep getting up boom 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 it wasn't a lot of socializing it was a lot of hard work i think we did this in 11 or 12 days oh wow less than two weeks for this holy crap yeah so you gotta, the way we're working throughout the day is just bah, 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 bah. i mean there's no I remember I'd sit down and be like, nope, I'm up again. You know, it was kind of, which is a great pace to work at, but you sort of don't get a lot of leisure sort of downtime. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, at least you knocked it out quickly, you know? So there you go. And it was a fun movie all around too. I love how Dolph was already like playing the piano, but also has a gun handy with him too, if needed, you know, in case something strikes. It's so on brand. It's so funny. I know. He's hilarious. It's so cool to work with him. I mean, I've been watching him since I was a kid. He hasn't changed. He's still a badass. He's awesome. So, so cool. You always have so much fun working on these films. You know, like I never hear talk from you like, like, oh, this, you know, it was just the same old work. It's always just like an experience. It's like a day camp for you. You know, every time it you is, go on it's a these trip. random adventures, we're with these incredible actors, people I've grown up working with or worked with before in these weird locations, doing these unbelievable, in these crazy circumstances, these scripts I get sent. It's so much fun, you know. <clears throat> one minute I'm in Thailand in muddy water with crocodiles and I'm in New Mexico getting married and an action movie like everything's so random and so different and how can you not have fun I mean this is what I do for a living it's hysterical <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. And then you were on the, you know, man eater, you're with sharks in a beautiful island. Too. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> you're all over the place. Are you doing is, is, Does the movie satisfy your travel urges? Or are you still going out and uh, visiting places uh, when you get a chance when you're not working? Any any plans for the summer, actually, for you, too? Well, I like to go to places like Paris and I don't tend to book movies that are shooting in Paris. So, um, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's like I have to, you know, I still travel when I'm not working, but I do travel a lot. I actually really enjoy being at home as well in LA. I mean, probably because I'm not here that much. So I right. sort of you know, value it a lot. And I work up at a sanctuary in Acton, a couple hours out of town, a rescue farm um, with a bunch of animals and stuff. So I spend a lot of time out there. So I'm always on the move and I'm like a bit of a gypsy, me and my dog Yoda, we just cruise around everywhere together. So I, I love all of it. I love traveling with work and I love traveling, not working. Um, but like I said, you know, if I could book movies more in Europe, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, yeah you just get the exotic locations, like the beaches and the faraway <laughs> islands and all that. They team, or New Mexico, you know, somewhere, some town no one's seen in New Mexico with a casino. So, you know, you get the hidden gems, actually, for the most part. Yeah, so true. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I didn't know that you were uh, working with the sanctuary. That's so, what kind of sanctuary is it? Um, it's called Spirit of Animals. It's run by one of my dearest friends. Her name's Rhea. She's had the property. She lives out there for years. And she basically, I mean, she's got everything out there. Um, she's Her brother uh, looks after a lot of Michael Jackson's old animals. She on her property has anything from camels, from the circus. She has miniature horses from the circuses. She's got 
I kind of don't even know how many dogs and horses and llamas and pigs and all of them have a crazy backstory. She's got a zebra out there. Um, they've all come from some horrendous situation. And her property is like a forever place, really, for all these animals. You know, they they don't have to be sort of, it's not, it's, we don't call it a rescue place, really, because she doesn't sort of adopt and then give them out. So there has been some people that have taken animals from her, especially because there's so many animals on her property. If she does get one in that tends not to get along with everyone, she will find a new home for it. But uh, unbelievable stories. I mean, there's baby raccoons out there right now, baby possums out there right now, everything. I mean, it's like walking into a property of just, and you're welcomed by horses and llamas and pigs and 20 dogs and more dogs, like 40 dogs. And it's like, uh-huh this incredible property that everyone gets along and um so I've been doing a lot of work out there with her and just spending a lot of time out there with um building a shop out there and another section of the farm so it's just really good people doing very good things and I'm just really grateful to be in the mix with them and get to work out there physically too like shoveling shit and just doing stuff there you go yeah, oh, that's so good. cool. I love that. That is amazing. What a it just makes you a better human being in a place like that. You know what I mean? It just it, getting away from all the nonsense, just being around like the the essence of animals and everything. And it's like I love that they just live their life there amongst each other in in peace and you know and safety. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. It's really special. It does. I think it's the best therapy. Um, you know, yeah. And I really mean that. It's the best thing you can do. Is I always say, go and do something that for somebody else. Get out of your own head and get out of your own space. And this place has just been a, I uh, just love it. It's so magical and fresh air. I think when you live in the heart of LA, you can just get caught up in oh, the, yeah. and it's all about yourself and what you're doing next. And just to pull yourself out of that for a minute and go do something good, you know, it does. It, you definitely feel better. Oh, that's so cool. I'm I'm happy to hear that. That there's people like that, good people like that out there doing good things and uh and you're helping out, which is, you know, that's that must feel great at the end of the day, too, you know, to be able even just a little bit shoveling the shit. You know what I mean? Someone's got to do it. So why not? You know, I would join you whenever if I'm in LA to to just experience that and help out too. That would be amazing. I love anything with animals, so it's a passion of mine too. So um, oh, it's so good to hear. Good. Yeah. For sure. And finally, um, going to Aussie land, visiting family. How's everything with the family? Family are great. Thank you, love. Good yeah, um, they're very good. So I, I'm going to got to make a trip down there in a couple of months. I'll be down there and then I'll be back there again at Christmas time every year. So mm-hmm. it's my family, but I'm on FaceTime with them every day. So thank you for asking. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I know you're very close to your family and sometimes being far away and around the world, you know, but you always make the time, which is the most important thing. So uh that's good to hear. I'm so happy I got to talk to you. It's been feels like it's been too long. Uh, always, always makes my day to to see you and and good to hear that you're doing well. And obviously, I'm seeing on screen. You know, you're constantly kicking ass and uh, doing something wild. So you're so sweet. Good luck with your mom too. And all. Thank the, you, Nikki. I will. Yeah, it's uh, coming up in May. You know, I was planning on moving back to LA actually, but now it's once again that's going to be the priority to see what happens there and. Uh, you know, that'll kind of dictate the rest, but that's the most important part, but I appreciate that. And yeah, we're hoping for some, some good news, hopefully. Yeah. hundred percent sending you lots of love. Thank you so much, Nikki. I'll, I'll talk to you soon then. Let's make it qu- quicker when we get a chance to. Got it. Bye honey. <laughs> Bye Nikki. Good Bye. to see you.